In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on working with background music files. In my version of PowerDirector 365, I have four different resources I can use to bring in background music. Each of them works a little differently than the others and has advantages and disadvantages. So I'd like to overview that whole process on working with background music in this tutorial. I have a video on track number one, and let's assume I want to add some background music. I'm in my media room with the My Media, and I have my side panel open. I'm going to look at the background music subcategory. When I click on that, I find that I have three different resources here, and there's one other one we'll point out at the end of the tutorial. I have Cyberlink, Meta, and Soundstripe, and each of these work a little bit differently than the others. Let's go to the Cyberlink category first. I click on the word Cyberlink and it opens up the subcategories of music. Now if I have my cursor on the word Cyberlink, that will give me everything in the Cyberlink category. That will include acoustic, atmosphere, cinematic. So if I want to do the biggest search I possibly can, I want to stay there. If I click on guitar, this will give me the guitar options. I can click on the X here. If I want to look on vocal, type that in, no results. If I want to look on fast, see if anything comes up. No, let's look at strings, nothing there. So it's hard to find a category that necessarily will work, but you can try and see what happens. I'm not sure exactly how the search engine is engineered. Now we have other things that we can look at here. We have duration, and in the Cyberlink, you can sort that either shortest to longest or longest to shortest. Here's the short ones at the top. And then if I click on it, the longest ones are at the top. So if you're looking for a certain time frame, yeah, I need music that's so many minutes and seconds long, this is a way to find something like that. The category is interesting. I can only search once, and if I click here, it will give me A to Z, but it won't let me reverse it. But basically, all these acoustics show you everything in the first subcategory. Now, if I click on any of the other categories, it will only give me the elements found in that particular category. If I want to find out a little bit about the music, I hover over the name. It will give me the title. It will give me the category. It will give me the, the resource, here it's Sound Jewel, and it will give me the label. So I have a little bit of background information if I want it. In order to listen to one, all I have to do is click on it, and it will start to play. We'll stop that. Now in this case I can listen to it without downloading it because notice my download button has not been activated. If I want to download the file I simply click here and it will download it. Now I can make it a favorite if I want. To do that I must have downloaded and I click on the heart and now it's a favorite. If I uncheck it now it's no longer a favorite. So I can download it. If I downloaded a file and I decide I don't want to use it, we'll stop that. I can right click and click delete from disk. And it will ask me if I'm sure. I'll say yes. And now it's not on my file system. It's not consuming bytes of information. I can download it a thousand times and delete it a thousand times. It doesn't really matter. But that's how you work for, through the files in the Cyberlink category. Again, the search engine is a little limited, but it does give you a category and a duration that you can sort, which is nice. And you can go through any of the subcategories or click on the word Cyberlink, and you have everything in that group. Let's look at the second group of background music. This is from Meta. It's a little bit different. When I'm in Meta, I also have favorites that I can mark. Then I have all these subcategories as well. And if I'm on the word Meta, if that's blue, I have everything in Meta. Let's look for something here fast. Okay, here's the fast ones in Meta. But you notice I can't sort in terms of duration or tempo in the Meta files. It doesn't allow me to do that. Let's look for another option for sorting here. Let's try Chase and see what we get. Okay, these are the ones it classifies as Chase. So it must have a slightly more complicated background in its database to understand which ones might fit there. 
and so I can find those in any of them. Some of them are related to title, obviously. Others are probably related to some other metadata inside the background music file itself. So if I want this one, I'm going to click on it. And in this case, it will download it every single time. And then to play it, I hit the space bar. And if I decide I don't want it on my disk, I can right click and do delete from disk. It'll ask me a confirmation. And again, I can download it and delete it as many times as I want to when I'm working with the meta. I think that I think the search engine's a little better, but again, we can't do some sorting that we could with the Cyberlink one. Again, any one you've downloaded, you can click on and you can make it a favorite or unclick it and choose that way. And so you've got all these subcategories that you can work on when you're trying to find a certain kind of element and search within that subcategory. Let's see if I've got anything for fast. Uh, give me all the fast songs in my hip hop subcategory. So that gives me an example. Again, when you're working with Meta, you have to keep dragging down because you have a lot more files than it seems when you're looking at the slider. When it looks like you, there's none to go, you just keep dragging down and down and you find you've got lots of resources in Meta. I've tried the page down key. I can't find a quick way to get to the bottom. Here's another one. Let's see what this one's about. Okay, now it automatically downloaded it the minute I tried to preview it. I don't think I want that. I'll do delete from disk again. So that's working with that subcategory, the ones from Meta. So we looked at Cyberlink and Meta. The newest one we're going to look at is Soundstripe. Let's click on that. Again, you have the My Favorites and then you have the categories. In Soundstripe, there are 59 subcategories. Now there's another difference when working with Soundstripe. You notice this little gray icon with a crown on it. If I hover over it, you discover that you can get 30 downloads per month of these files. They're, uh, I would say, generally a higher quality file. Uh, that gives you 360 in a year, which isn't bad, but you do have a limit of 30 per month. The difference is you can preview it without downloading it, so you don't take one of your 30 away. Let's take this drop out and just click on it. I don't have to hit the space bar to make it play. I can listen to the whole song. I'll stop it with the space bar. But now I haven't downloaded, I haven't used one of my 30 per month. If I want to bring it into my system, I click on the download arrow and it will take one of the 30 I have for the, any particular month. So I'll be down to 29. So it works a little bit differently when it comes to this. And uh, so it's got some positives and negatives. I think it's better quality. Let's see what the database is like. Let's click on strings and see if we got anything here. Oh, we have a whole bunch. Okay, and let's try another one. Let's look on guitar. Okay, so I think the database again on the Soundstripe files is a little more extensive when you're looking at it. Again, you can search the, through the entire library of Soundstripe or you can search through a category or subcategory that we have here. Look at ballads. And again, when you're looking at these, you have in many cases more than you see on the screen and it looks like there's no, none left. And you can drag the slider bar down find that you have a lot more than you thought. So it's an extensive library of background sounds for Soundstripe. So I think quality wise, they went out over the others, but again, you have a limit of how many you can get. Let's look at one more way in which we can bring in elements. And that's not with background music at all. You can simply be in your media room, do control Q, and then you can navigate where you want to. I'm going to turn off video files, go to audio files. And here I have a, a directory with a bunch of audio files. I'll click on that and it will bring it in. Now I don't see it because I've turned my filter off. I have videos only. I'm going to let's go back to all media and I'll see my audio files. And let me change the view here again to to the details view. And then this will give me the, the, the file that I just downloaded called a new start. I can play it.
and I can drag it and obviously put it on my track wherever I want, want it to go as a file. You can get a file from any place in the world that you brought into your computer system and bring it in as well as using these other three resources for background music when it comes to enhancing your projects in CyberLink PowerDirector.